Well, asteroids pass by Earth all the time, but tomorrow scientists will be paying close attention to one flying between the planet and the moon. For more on the story, let's bring in our science expert, Darius Badavi. So, Darius, the, the big question here, is there any reason that we need to be alarmed? Should we be concerned at all? Uh, fortunately, not this time, Travis. It is a big asteroid and anywhere from 150 to 250 meters across, but uh, fortunately, 0% chance of it impacting Earth. Uh, I know a lot of headlines, people often see headlines that say asteroid passing between Earth and the moon. Uh, a little bit misleading most of the time, at least. This one is significant because uh, this is the largest asteroid of this size that's passed, this, sorry, largest asteroid that we've seen pass this close to Earth since 2001, so it's been a long time. Uh, but the Earth and the Moon are very far apart. So when a normal asteroid passes by, not really a big deal. Uh, if the Earth was the size of a basketball, which I happen to have here because thankfully some other CBC journalists are quite sporty, uh, the Moon would be the size of a baseball or a tennis ball, and they would be about 25 feet apart, sev over seven meters apart. There's a lot of empty space between the Earth and the Moon. So when something passes in between, it's not really a huge deal. Just take a look at this graphic. You can see exactly how far apart they are. It takes light a not insignificant amount of time to travel between them. Uh, and so there are all sorts of small objects in Earth's orbit that pass in between us and the Moon all the time that either burn up in the atmosphere or just honestly more often miss us entirely. Uh, so fortunately, no reason to worry. If you ever see a headline that says asteroid pass between the Earth and the Moon, don't panic. It's probably not going to hit us. It's certainly not going to hit us. Uh, and fortunately, this is no different. Okay. No, no one need to worry. That, that is some very good news. I am relieved. Uh, what, do we, what do we know exactly about this asteroid? Uh, we know a few things. So this is a, this one's a little bit surprising. So even though we have no reason to be concerned, scientists are a little bit. Uh, we have uh, several sur uh, surveys and systems in place to detect uh, potentially hazardous asteroids or PHAs uh, well before they impact Earth. Usually we're very good at finding those. Uh, this time though, we didn't know about this asteroid until about uh, two weeks ago, even less than that. Uh, and j finding out less than two weeks before the uh, closest pass is a, a big deal because the uh, this was discovered by sort of our last alert system for asteroids this size, or really any asteroid. Uh, so that part is a big deal to scientists because they uh, may tweak the way that we are looking for these asteroids, but no big news on that yet, maybe in the days to come. Uh, if you take a look at this graphic, you can see a little bit about what we do know about this asteroid. We're not sure what it's made of exactly. We're not sure uh, that really matters actually for a, a potential impact because how dense the asteroid is really determines the size of the, uh, the effect. But you can see here 120 to 260 meters passing well, uh, uh, well a good distance away from Earth, 200 90,000 kilometers. Uh, beyond that, there's little we know about the asteroid uh, itself. We'll uh, hopefully get some, some better information as we see it move through the night sky. Uh, and I should mention, most visible from the southern hemisphere, we might be able to see it at the very southern part of our horizon as it passes by uh, sort of tomorrow in the early morning hours here in Pacific time, a little bit, uh, of course, three hours ahead in Eastern time. Uh, but with that being said, uh, people with uh, telescopes and the systems to actually track it as mm -hmm. it really whizzes through our sky really quickly, uh, should be able to get some get some better information than what you might be able to see through a pair of binoculars. There you go. Okay, Darius, appreciate it. That is Darius Badavi in Vancouver.